So this is a simple helicopter robot. There's two motors, one in charge of lift, the other one in charge of the yoke. The motor that is in charge of lift, yeah, we have to replace with one that made by itself. And we have to be able to control it. Actually. Altitude controls as well as the yaw controls. Uh -huh. um, this motor is uh, we built them ourselves. So um, we did all the water jet cuts, the 3D prints, the circuit board. We have five 3D printers mm -hmm. that we make available to students to print during lab, lab hours. This would be small jobs under three hours. You can see what's going on right now. Everybody's printing different parts of their little robots. And a typical problem they have is the size, because this motor will be in charge of the lift of the helicopter, mm -hmm. cogging, uh, torque. So you can see on the second version they're working on how they everything is built from scratch, from the lamination, the winding, the casing. Typically they would prefer to do 3D printing for the casing, but of course everything inside has to be made with metal. All of your, all of your motors are nice and clean. It's half the weight of this, and it's also spinning 10 times faster. Than this. What's the RPM on this? Fastest, 18. yeah, 1800. Yeah, this is a really tremendous job. What are we doing? We lift up, 180, dip down a bit, come back up, turn back around, and land. Oh, okay, okay, so it's just visiting. Yeah, yeah visiting that <laughs> place, yeah. It turns around. If I press connect, it'll show you our current values, our current outputs on the current air and the running air, both the yaw and the lift. You'll see that the position changed, so this, uh, the lift motor, so we moved it up, um, and then the yaw position will change, and then we'll see the yaw response. This user interface is, is really terrific. Hey Cortana, tell the robot to do a 360. Sure, stand back y'all, this going to be dope. So one of the lines represents the set point, one of the lines is the other angle. So right now it's turning and raise the tilt up and down, which is the blue lines. Okay, so you just hold it up and down. Yeah, right. sorry, sorry. So hit PID on and then use the joint to just control this that we mainly have. That's cool. Oh, these lines are actually, yeah, like an indicator. Also, they actually they go through the phases as well. So it can be all hooked to oh, the nice. actual phase. We can see how the controller is working as part of the diagnostic process. So we have six LEDs down there. Oh, well, that's a nice feature, actually. For a system model. And how well does your simulation work? We got the altitude working pretty well, but unfortunately, we get the yaw working, so this is like the sound response for altitude. So, like, I scope between here and after my encoder.